As an electrician in this kind of industry, it's definitely different from your traditional house bashing electricians. There's common misperceptions about electricians that it is just pulling cables or just connecting up boards, but there is a lot more to it. I think with the oil and gas and renewable sectors growing exponentially, it inevitably grows opportunities for both younger and older people. You've got standard electrical apprenticeships, you've got more advanced electrical apprenticeships, but the standard ones that most electricians will go through. I'm Jamie Buckin, I'm an electrician at Global ANC, and I'm educating the next generation. <laughs> well, it was a bit... <laughs> this threw me off a bit, to be fair. As an electrician at Global ENC, my job is to put a base layer of electrics into the cabin, such like distribution boards, lights, sockets, so that then when it goes off to the client, they can then fit it out with any of their technology. If it's a workshop cabin, they can put in workbenches, tools, things like that, and they can build on the base of what we've already put in to fit it to their requirements offshore or onshore. There's a lot of variety in the different kind of jobs that you do. You've got a very wide range of different specs of carbons and different specs of electrics within the company. You get zoned carbons, so you've got various gas zones like zone one, zone two, zone zero, I believe. You also got safe area carbons, and your safe area carbons is ones that aren't in hazardous or gas areas, and they tend to be a lot more basic in terms of the equipment and the, the specification of equipment. In the zoned areas, you've got a lot more heavily engineered equipment to for practical safety, so stop gas and stuff like that getting into these things, as if you're in a gas area and a spark was to go off, obviously that's got the potential to blow. So the designs of these specific, say, junction boxes and distribution boards, etc., they have to be rated for these areas and have to meet that spec. I think to be an electrician, especially in this kind of industry, you need to be quite forward thinking. You need to be independent in what you do because there is situations where it's your role it's your job you have to think of the best way and the easiest way to do the job because ultimately the easier the job the better it is for you i think you need to be somewhat creative sometimes you need to think of sometimes people will design things that maybe don't work out quite as they intended and you have to think of a workaround and work with others to then find a better solution to make it viable in terms of meta skills, I think collaboration is a very important one. Within my workshop, you've got five different disciplines of work. You've got joiners, welders, HVAC engineers, electricians. So between the five of you, you do need to work in tandem with one another. Sometimes you'll have to do something for a joiner, which makes his job a bit easier. Sometimes they'll do something for you, it makes it a bit easier. You have to work out the best steps to take what things are better to do first, because it'll then lead the job to progress much more easily and flow easier. There's definitely a lot more technical things. You'll learn a lot more on the job, I'd say, about the way that electrics work. I think you've also got progressions to go into electrical engineering fields. You've definitely got scope to take on more management roles. You've also got the opportunities to then go offshore, work abroad, and take those skills that you've learned here into different fields in different areas of the oil and gas and renewable sectors. My pathway to becoming an electrician at Global ENC was that when I left school I started an apprenticeship at the company which was block release so I would go and work for say two months and then go to college for a month and that was the way that it worked for the first two years of my apprenticeship so therefore I was learning on the job and off the job so when you do an electrician course you're working towards an SVQ level three which qualifies you in doing electrics in both domestic and then you can transfer these skills into the oil and gas field. When I was leaving school, you had a lot of times you are almost pushed upon you to get go to uni or go to college and do things. I don't think there's a lot said about apprenticeships, which ultimately do have a lot more pros than cons. I think a lot of people who are come out of uni into this kind of jobs do tend to struggle with putting what they've learned theoretically in university or college and putting it into practicality. Whereas with apprenticeships, you're going and you're learning the theory and the practical all at once. So you can almost collaborate the two of them, which I think ultimately puts you in a better position in certain types of jobs if you go through the apprenticeship route. Global ENC is definitely a good company to work for. I think you can see over the last few years just how much they're expanded and how 
dedicated they are to growing their business, which ultimately creates opportunities for you to grow yourself and move in a forward direction. I think for me, over my apprenticeship, they've always helped me in terms of getting from nothing to being able to become a fully qualified electrician. And even now, opening up opportunities to further your career, now that I am a fully qualified to move into different roles and to gain more experience and more qualifications and to inevitably progress my career.